Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in the previous video, we learned about the multiplexer and we have seen that how to design different boolean functions using the multiplexer. So in this video, let us see how to design different logic gates using the multiplexer. Now if you see the internal circuit of the multiplexer, then the multiplexer itself is made up of different logic gates. And you might ask, what is the point of designing the different logic gates using the multiplexer, right? Well, sometimes if different logic gates are not available and if we have some multiplexer ICs, then we can use that multiplexer IC to implement different logic gates. So in this video, let us see how we can implement different logic gates using the 2 to 1 multiplexer. And first, let us start with the NOT gate. So for this 2 cross 1 multiplexer, we have 2 data lines and 1 selection line. And the input to this selection line decides which input appears at the output. So this is the boolean expression of this 2 cross 1 multiplexer in terms of the selection line and the data line. Now in case of the NOT gate, if the applied input is A, then the output is equal to A bar. So to use this multiplexer as the NOT gate, First of all, let us apply this input A to this selection line. And now, let us apply this 1 to the D0 line and the 0 to this D1 line. So as per this expression, this output Y will be equal to A bar dot 1 plus A dot 0 and that is equal to A bar. So in this way, we can implement the NOT gate using this 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So similarly, let us see how to implement the AND gate using this 2 cross 1 multiplexer. So in case of the AND gate, if A and B are the inputs, then the output is equal to A dot B. And to implement it using this multiplexer, once again let us apply the input A to this selection line. Now if we apply the input B to this D1 line, then if you see this expression, then it will become A dot B. But at the same time, we do not require the first term. So to make this first term 0, what we can do? We can apply the input 0 to this D0 line. So with D0 is equal to 0, the first term will be equal to this A bar dot 0 and that is equal to 0. So in this way, if you see the output, then the output Y is equal to A dot B. So in this way, we can implement the AND gate. So from the truth table also, we can get the same result. So in the previous video of the multiplexer, using the same method, we have seen that how we can implement different boolean functions using the multiplexer. And using the same method, we can also implement any logic gate. So in that method, starting from the LSB, the first n minus one variables of the functions were applied to the selection line. And the last variable and its complement was given to the data line. So in this case, since we have only two variables, so let us connect the first variable A to the selection line. And from the truth table, let us see what should be the input to the data line. So when this A is equal to 0, then for the both values of the B, the output Y is equal to 0. That means irrespective of the value of B, the output Y remains 0. That means for the A is equal to 0, the value of Y is equal to 0. Likewise, when this A is equal to 1, then the output Y follows the B. That means with A is equal to 1, when B is equal to 0, then Y is also 0. And when this B is equal to 1, then Y is also 1. That means for A is equal to 1, this Y is equal to B. And therefore, the input to this D0 line should be equal to 0, while the input to the D1 line should be equal to B. So with this input to the data line, this output y is equal to a bar dot 0 plus a dot b and that is equal to a dot b. So as you can see, using this truth table method also, we can get the same result. And in this way, we can implement the AND gate using this multiplexer. So similarly, let us see how to implement the OR gate using this multiplexer. So in case of the OR gate, if A and B are the inputs, then the output Y is equal to A plus B. 
So from the truth table of the OR gate, let us find the value of this D0, D1 and the S. So this is the truth table of the OR gate. So first of all, let us connect the input A to the selection line. And from the truth table, let us decide what should be the input to the data lines. So with A is equal to 0, the output Y follows the B. That means wherever this B is equal to 0, then Y is also 0. And when this B is 1, then the Y is equal to 1. That means with A is equal to 0, the output Y is equal to B. And therefore, this D0 line should be connected to B. Likewise, with A is equal to 1, irrespective of the value of B, the output Y remains 1. That means for A is equal to 1, this Y is equal to 1. And therefore, this D1 line should be connected to 1. That means this should be the input to the multiplexer. And with these inputs, if we see the output of the multiplexer, then that is equal to this a bar dot b plus a dot 1. Or that is equal to a plus a bar dot b. And using the distributive law, we can say that that is equal to a plus a bar dot a plus b. And as you know, this a plus a bar is equal to 1. That means the output y is equal to a plus b. So in this way, the output of the multiplexer is similar to the OR gate. So likewise, let us see how to design the NOR gate using the multiplexer. So in case of the NOR gate, if A and B are the input, then the output Y is equal to A plus B whole bar. And this is the truth table of the NOR gate. So first of all, let us apply the input A to the selection line. And from the truth table, let us decide the value of the data lines. So in this case, as you can see, for the input A is equal to 0, when B is 0, then the Y is 1, and when B is 1, then the Y is 0. That means the output Y is the complement of the B. That means the input to the D0 line should be equal to B bar. Likewise, with A is equal to 1, irrespective of the value of B, the output Y remains 0. That means with A is equal to 1, the value of Y is equal to 0. And therefore, the input to the D1 line should be equal to 0. So with this input to the multiplexer, if we see the output of the multiplexer Y, then this Y is equal to this A bar dot B bar plus A dot 0. And that is equal to A bar dot B bar because this A dot 0 is equal to 0. Now as per the De Morgan's law, if you know, then this A bar dot B bar is equivalent to A plus B whole bar. So we can say that this Y is also equal to A plus B whole bar. So in this way, with this input to the multiplexer, the multiplexer will behave as the NOR gate. And here, to generate the complement of the B, we can use the NOT gate. And if the NOT gate is not available, then it can also be implemented with the help of the multiplexer. So in this way, we can implement the NOR gate using this multiplexer. So similarly, let us see how to implement the NAND gate with the help of the multiplexer. So in case of the NAND gate, if A and B are the inputs, then the output Y is equal to A dot B whole bar. And as per the De Morgan's law, that is equivalent to A bar plus B bar. So this is the truth table of the NAND gate. So once again, let us apply the input A to the selection line. And with the help of the truth table, let us decide the value of these data lines. So in this case, with A is equal to 0, irrespective of the value of B, the output Y remains 1. That means for A is equal to 0, the output Y is equal to 1. And therefore, this D0 line should be connected to the 1. Likewise, with A is equal to 1, the output Y is the complement of the B bar. Because whenever this B is 0, then Y is 1. And with B is equal to 1, this Y is equal to 0. That means for A is equal to 1, this Y is equal to B bar. And therefore, this D1 line should be connected to B bar. So with this input through the multiplexer, this output Y is equal to a bar dot 1 
plus a dot b bar and once again using the distributive law we can say that that is equal to a bar plus a dot a bar plus b bar and as you know this a bar plus a is equal to 1 that means the output y is equal to a bar plus b bar and using the de morgan's law that is equivalent to a bar dot b bar so in this way this multiplexer circuit will behave as the nand gate and here to generate the complement of the b we can use the dot gate so in this way we can implement the nand gate using the multiplexer so likewise let us see how to implement the xor gate using the multiplexer so in case of the xor gate if a and b are the inputs then the output y is equal to a dot b bar plus a bar dot b and this is the truth table of the xor gate so to implement this xor gate using the multiplexer first of all let us apply the input a to the selection line and with the help of the truth table let us decide the value of the data lines so in this case as you can see with a is equal to 0 this output y follows the b that means whenever this b is 0 then y is 0 and when this b is 1 then the y is 1 that means for the input a is equal to 0 the output y is equal to b and therefore this d0 input should be connected to the b likewise with a is equal to 1 this output y is the complement of the b because when b is 0 then y is 1 and with b is 1 the y is 0 therefore this d1 input should be connected to the b bar that means with this input to the multiplexer if we see the output y then the output y is equal to a bar dot b plus a dot b bar and that is equal to a x or b so in this way with this inputs we can implement the xor gate and here to generate this complement of the b we can use the not gate so similarly now let us see how to implement the xnor gate using the multiplexer so in case of the xnor gate if a and b are the inputs then the output y is equal to a dot b plus a bar dot b bar and this is the truth table of the xnor gate so to implement this xnor gate using the multiplexer first of all let us apply the input a to the selection line and from the truth table let us decide the value of the data lines so here for the input a is equal to 0 this output y is the complement of the b bar because when b is 0 then y is 1 and when b is 1 then the y is 0 therefore this d0 line should be connected to the b bar likewise with a is equal to 1 the output y follows the b and therefore this d1 line should be connected to the b so in this way with this inputs if you see the output y then the output y is equal to a bar dot b bar plus a dot b and that is the expression of the xnor gate that means with this inputs we can implement the xnor gate and here as i said to generate the complement of the b we can use the not gate so in this way using this 2 cross 1 multiplexer we can implement the different logic gates so on the second channel we will see few examples related to multiplexers but i hope in this video you understood how to implement the different logic gates using the multiplexer so if you have any question or suggestion then do let me know here in the comment section below if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.